Hi everybody, this is continuing in our lessons about input and output in C, and what we're going to learn about next is what's called printf. This is going to be the first step that we have towards getting rid of needing to use this special ic210.h uh, library. So, so far we've been using this special thing with some helper functions to make it easier to get started, but now you've gotten started, you're all doing great in the class, and so we are ready to start kind of peeling back the curtain and seeing what are the real things underneath. And printf is the first example. It's one that's going to make our lives actually a little bit easier now, although it would have been harder to learn about this from the beginning. And to illustrate how this functionality works, we're going to play a little Mad Libs game. If you've never played this game before, it's it's just uh, you have to pick words that fill in these different parts of speech, and then it's going to make some kind of a funny story. And I don't actually remember what the story is, so we just have to pick some words here. So uh, you could pick your own, but since I'm making this video, I'm going to pick um, some adjectives. So let's say smelly is an adjective. Um, excited is an adjective. A noun would be a uh, tree. That's a noun. Uh, pizza is a noun. A plural noun. How about cats? That's a plural noun. And a game. How about uh, <laughs> a twister? Okay. So those are the things that I filled in now. And the way that the Mad Libs game works is that you then insert these into some blanks in a story that you haven't seen before. Um, and it's supposed to be fun for kids to play. So in this case, we would say a vacation is when you take a trip to some, okay, what goes in this blank? I look back, okay, smelly. So to some smelly place with your excited family, usually you go up to some place that is near a tree or up a pizza that doesn't make sense uh, a good vacation place is one where you can ride cats or play twister or go hunting for something that i didn't fill in the rest of it okay so that's how this game works um it's a fun game for kids to play and to learn parts of speech and this is actually the same exact idea as what's going to get used in the c function called printf so I'm going to show you the full documentation, but then we're going to look at exactly the parts that we need. If we go to cppreference.com um, slash w slash c, this is going to show us everything we need to know, need to know about c. Um, and we can go to input output support, and you will see, actually, we're going to look at fprintf first, but I think it's all together. Okay, so there's all these different versions of the printf command, including fprintf and printf. Um, and then there's all these different parameters, a lot of documentation here. So it's a very powerful function. But the way that we're going to be using it is just in a simpler form. And if you need to use these more complicated things, you can. Part of the reason for me showing you this is that as time goes on, you'll get more and more comfortable with being able to look at a really sophisticated documentation like this page and just picking out the specific parts that we need to know about for, um, for what you need to use for the, the job that you're doing at the time. Okay, so let's see how this command works in general. We write f printf. Then we have the name of a stream like standard out. Then we have what's called a format string, which is just like any other string, except that there's going to be these special kind of blanks that we put in there. And then to fill in the blanks, in this case, this percent %i part is like the blank that's going to be filled in. And then we fill in that blank with some value, like um, 17. OK, so what will happen from this command is what will get printed would be, I have 17 apples and, and a new line. OK, let's break this down a little bit. How does, how does this work? Um, it's really just like the Mad Libs program that we saw a moment ago, where the blank, so this is like the whole story of the Mad Libs. So this is called a format string. It's always going to be a string, and almost always it should be a literal string that we type in with like the double quotes, not using a variable here. And then this part, anytime we see the percent sign followed by a letter, that part 
is um, it, what's called a format specifier. So this percent %i indicates that this is like a blank. And just like in Mad Libs where the blanks have a type underneath them, like adjective or noun, the type here is encoded in this special letter. So whatever letter follows the percent sign, this says that it needs to fill that blank with an int. Okay, so the percent says, hey, we have a blank here, and the letter following that says what type of thing needs to fill it. And then everything that comes after, and the, right here we just have one number, but there could be more. And this is going to be what's used to fill in the blanks. And just in terms of the, the format specifiers that we can have here, here we're just seeing uh, percent %i. And that's certainly one of them that we'll use quite a bit. Percent %i means integer. Well, I should say int. Um, and the other ones that we'll use commonly are percent %s for string, percent %c for a single char. And what are we leaving out? Percent %g is going to be for a double. Now, there's actually different ones, and, th and there's a lot more detail that we could get into about how to specify the width and stuff. But um, just for getting started, this is what you need to remember. These four um, special things to indicate a blank in our format string. So a printf is a way that we can conveniently, rather than like how would we have had to do this before, is by having a single f puts, then a right num, and then another f puts. And now we're able to do that all in one line, and it, so it makes our life a little bit easier as programmers. Let's look at an example in terms of code to see this in, in action. So the example that I want to look at is called hello.c, and it's one that we already used as an example um, two units ago. So this is uh, trying to do some stupid bad stand-up routine by getting the location and the year and then making some decisions and printing some stuff out. So we don't need to change the logic here, um, but let's change how it works. Instead of having to do multiple print statements here, we can now use fprintf to do this. So for these three lines, this is gonna say hello comma space, then print out this location, which is a string and then an exclamation point. So how can we recreate all that with an fprintf we would say f printf. Then we want to put our string um, just like we would have it before, but we can do it all in one line. And when we want to fill in the blank, that's when we use a special format specifier. Notice that my editor um, highlights that differently to tell me that it's a special format specifier in, in C. So that I use percent %s because it's going to be a string. And then I can have an exclamation point just like that. The first argument to fprintf has to be the name of the stream that we're writing to. And then what goes after the format string is whatever's going to fill in the blank. So in this case, the location. OK, so does everybody see how this works? I hope um, we have fprintf. We have the name of the stream. Then we have a format string. And there's a blank in here, percent %s. That's going to get filled in with a value of this variable. So it'll do the same thing as before, but now in just one line. Um, and so we, we can do this for anything that we want. If we want to do this one as a single f printf statement, then it's going to look similar, but we'll use a different format specifier now because we're writing out a year. So we have to think about what type is year. Okay. Year is an int. So I'm going to use percent %i for that one. And then again, I specify after the format string, I specify what should fill in the blank, which in this case is that variable here. And so the type of this, what we have here has to match with the uh, format specifier that we used. Here, location is a string, so we use percent %s. Year is an int, so we use percent %i. Let's um, see this in action. So if I compile this, I uh, misspelled um, fprintf, so that's a good thing to get right. That's a nice little error message there. 
See, it even tells me what I meant to say. That's kind of a nice feature of the compiler. So now I can run it. Uh, where am I? Um, I'm on Earth, and it is 2020, and there we go. We can also do even more in one line with, with um, fprintf if we wanted to. So if we wanted to, we could actually do both of these together in a single fprintf statement by just making the format string longer. Is it... Okay, so now I'm actually doing two lines with a single um, fprintf, which you don't always want to do, but we can do this if we want. So I have two new line characters in there. And now I have two format specifiers in this format string, right? I have a percent %s right here, and I have a percent %i. So that means I'm going to want two arguments to come after it. If I don't have both of them, then the compiler should complain to me. See, it says that the the percent %s, it says, is fine, because I have location, which is a string. But the percent %i, it's saying, hey, you probably meant to have an int here, and you maybe forgot to do it. Um, so let's add in the int that I want, which in this case is the year. And now that should be all good. So if I were in Texas in uh, the 1700s, um, I might not, life would be very different, but anyway, that's how the, the program would work. Um, and there we go. So that's, that's no problem at all. And of course, we could even incorporate this third line into a single print statement. But at some point, it gets too long, and we don't want to do that. And the last thing to mention is just that because a lot of times we're writing to standard out, there's a shortcut that we can take. We can leave out the stream name if we're writing to standard out. We can just say printf. And then we get to leave out the stream name. So this will work exactly the same as before. We can use fprintf if we specify the stream. That's useful when you're writing to files or if you wanted to write to standard error. But if you're just writing to standard out, you can say printf, then the format string, and then any things that you need to fill in the blanks according to those percent things. So that's the printf statement. And I think it'll make your life a lot easier. It's a little bit weird to get into, but once you get used to using printf, you'll be much happier to not have to type out all these individual fputs and writeNum and fputc commands every time.